with the exception of the small group in denial, I think everyone understands that uh, businesses are going to have to figure out how to accommodate changes in processes to uh, address carbon and other emissions. So then the question is, who uh, accounts for those? It, the potential for fraud in international trading and evaluation of carbon credits is huge. It probably is already occurring in substantial ways because there's actually a very robust markets uh, internationally right. in already. Uh, even though the Chicago exchange runs 85% of the transactions in the EU, uh, it's, it, there still isn't standards that are uh, agreed upon. And how you, uh, how you value, and then auditing to demonstrate that those claims are accurate becomes a very substantial uh, problem. For long-term investors, what, are the, what risks should we understand? And I think it's probably contemplated by current SEC requirements, but if you're investing in utilities, what are the long-term impacts of the need to deal with their uh, emissions? Isn't necessarily disclosed adequately, and that's even, utilities probably do it better and because they're more regulated than anybody else, mm -hmm. but uh, lots and lots of other businesses, they're gonna have to start to do that and make some forecasts uh, for investors uh, about those uh, prospective risks. Mm -hmm. So it could, it's a system that can be manipulated and uh, it, there's potential for enormous fraud.